Hey, what's up? This is Huron from Battlecross. Let me uh, kind of explain some of the gear that I use. Uh, first off, ESP guitars, number one is what I use. This is the newest model I got. It's the E2 Horizon 3. And uh, it's got these pickups are Iconics pickups. They're uh, made in Michigan and they're, they're awesome. So I just got these put in. These are uh, passive pickups. It's got a nice bite to them, nice growl. So the strings I use for this are DR strings, the 10 to 52s, tight fit. And uh, yeah, I've been using those for a while, love them. And uh, yeah, so, and then there's, so there's this guitar I use prim primarily for the D song, so songs tuned in D. Um, for the songs that are tuned in E, I use this uh, Horizon model. This is the FR2. And uh, also DR strings. These are EMGs. Uh, these are the James Hetfield EMG pickups. Um, it's got the original Floyd Rose on it. So, yeah, I use this for all the E-tuned guitars. And then uh, also, I use Line 6 wireless unit. I got the uh, Relay 90 here. It's got the rack mount. So I use this for the wireless. For my amp setup, I got the 6534 PV, PV head. And then uh, normally I use the Mesa cab, Mesa rectifier slant cab. So that's pretty much my setup. As far as pedals go, I just use a tuner. I got the decimator here for the noise gate. And then uh, I just basically use a delay pedal and uh, a lead boost, basically like EQ lead boost for my leads and stuff. That's pretty much it, man. So, hey, what's going on, Tony from Battlecross? Ah! All right, so check it out. This is what I play primarily. It's a ESP Horizon FR27. She's a mean, lean fighting machine. But uh, check it out. I got Iconics pickups in here. This is my guy, he makes them from home. His name's Don Smith, Iconics Pickups, Rule. They're passive, I love them. All right, so strings, these are DR, uh, BT-10s, they're 10 gauge, 10 to 52, uh, tight wire, so, love them. This tuning is uh, drop D, and then this guy over here, this is a uh, M1, this is a standard E, this also has Iconics Pickups in it. So, hell yeah, dude, this is my boy. So uh, amp-wise, we use uh, PV. This is a PV 655 Plus. I'm using this for years. Love this thing. Uh, Huron's doing this 6534. So when you put them together, it's got like a nice blend of like more of a, of a low end and more of like a mid mid tone. Um, and then as far as pedals and stuff, we just have a tuner pedal and a, a noise suppressor. And then on the back in the effects loop, uh, we each have um, an EQ pedal and a delay our own set so all we do in front of us we just have this channel selector so we'll always be running with this channel hot when we play leads we just hit the effects loop and it turns these pedals on back here that's it there's no extra bullshit no tube screamer no fucking sonic maximizer none of that shit just working off the amp hi Don from Battlecross here got some good guitars here for you my favorite the Ibanez SR5005 EOL prestige series favorite. It's got a nice wizard neck to it. About 80% Wenge fretboard. Two laminates on both sides. Mahogany inside. Three band active EQ. But I'm not going to lie, I keep it passive just because I love how the bass sounds naturally. Uh, I'm using Ernie Ball strings. Gauge 130 through 45. Nice and bright. Keep it long. My favorite Barlini pickups. They just scream. That's why I keep it passive because it's all you need on this thing. I mean, the active EQ is good if I'm doing some solo work. If I need to do a quick solo, just flip it on, come back down. I kind of use this as a gain boost. Just flip it down, play, flip it back up, you're good to go. I have another one. Same difference, same pile, just one string less. Same. I really like these bases. <laughs> Well, these two big guys right here, this is the volume, and this is the uh, this is the tone knob. It, it's pretty much a pickup selector between the two. All the way to the left, it gives this guy. Gives me you know, a bit of a warmer sound. Kind of get a little bit more punch off of this, but I like to keep it back here, keep it raw, right back here. You, you get a more of a punchier tone when you play, because I can play up here. You know, I, I play pretty hard, so I keep it on this pickup, so it doesn't get a lot of the noise from me hitting so hard on this pickup. As far as these guys, uh, you got your bass, your, uh, your mid-range, 
mid-range selector, so you can go through a different bandwidth of uh, the mid-range, and then uh, and then treble. Pretty much, pretty simple. Just bass, mid-range, mid-range selector, and you treble. You can really customize on on the bass how you want it to sound, but I myself just love how the sound gear sounds by itself. I keep it passive. It sounds great. Sorry, there's a band sound checking right now. I'd love to show you what I'm using, but I'm using a classic boss tuner. The little white guy works perfect, it's chromatic, never failed me. Been using it for about three, four years now. I'm using a Sans amp, the classic Sans amp with the SLR input. Use that to really give myself a good gain push, overdrive, get a little bit of a pretty tone, some nice presence to it. I, I kind of use it as my preamp. Uh, to my amplifier to really just kind of mold the tone because the basses themselves sound great but I, I more or less supplement the bass tone with that not really change the tone but just to supplement it. Hey you guys, it's Don from Battlecross you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram any of your favorite social media sites we have a website battlecrossmetal.com they have all of our tour dates you can keep the date anytime we have a mailing list as well come to a show and sign up we'll keep you updated